Now we're going to look at the Maxwell Boltzmann speed distribution of particles. Usually we use it to describe the behavior of gas particles. This is the equation that we're looking at. Now the equation that we're looking at, the Maxwell Boltzmann equation, is looking at temperature, for example. But on the other hand, it also has microscopic properties. The kinetic energy there is the average kinetic energy of the particles of the gas. And we can't measure those directly. This equation is very important because it basically gives us the link between what we're able to measure macroscopically to what is actually going on microscopically. The link between the temperature and the average kinetic energy of the particles. And as you can see, basically if you double the temperature, you are going to double the average kinetic energy of the particles. Now, if we do a graph of the number of particles at a particular speed um, against the speed, you get a graph which looks a bit like this. Now, what we can see from this are, are certain features. Let's list them. First of all, different temperatures have different curves. They basically have the same area because the total area under each curve gives you the total number of particles. Also, it goes to the origin. What this tells us is that there are some particles that are going very, very slowly, or almost close to zero meters per second. Now, you might notice that as the temperature increases, the graph changes in the following ways. It basically broadens out and it flattens. Also, it extends to higher speeds, and you find that as the temperature increases, the average kinetic energy increases too. For example, you can see that when we have a thousand Kelvin, the average molecular speed is a thousand meters per second. When you have a temperature between 100 and 300 Kelvin, this is closer to 500 meters per second. So, all of the graphs go through the origin. The coal gas has particles which are basically moving slower than the particles in the hot gas. The hot gas, the particles move uh, quickly on average. And of course you can see by looking at uh, this area here that indeed some of the particles in the 100 Kelvin gas um, are actually mo moving faster than the average for the 300. But it's basically a statistical analysis here. We're looking at the average. Now this is um, Maxwell Boltzmann's uh, speed distribution equation. Ek is equal to 3 over 2 k times by t. This is the average kinetic energy. This is Boltzmann's constant and this is the temperature. So basically the average kinetic energy is proportional to the temperature. Now here we have the equation again as it's written in the data booklet. This is the average kinetic energy of the particles. This is Boltzmann's constant. Now Boltzmann's constant is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 joules per Kelvin. R is a universal gas constant which is 8.31 joules per kelvin per mole. And A is Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 per mole. Tells you how many particles are in a mole. And you may notice that these equations are basically the same thing. If, you, if I highlight on the left side, you have KB there. On the right side, you have RNA. These are interchangeable, basically because KB, Boltzmann's constant, is equal to R over N, the universal gas, gas constant, divided by Avogadro's constant. Now let's look at a question. What is the average speed of the hydrogen molecules on the Earth? Let's say the temperature of the Earth is around 300 Kelvin. The mass of a hydrogen molecule is let's say two times 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms because uh, it's two protons 
and we use this equation. So let's substitute those values in. 3 over 2 times um, the Boltzmann constant times by 300. And we end up with 6.21 times 10 to the negative 21 joules. We want to find that what is the velocity of that. So we need to know the mass of that, which we have. So we rearrange this equation to have V squared is equal to 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the mass, which gives us 3.7 times 10 to the 6 meters per second, all squared. So the average velocity is 1928 meters per second. Now, this is um, a particular average, the RMS value average, because it's basically taken from the average of the kinetic energy. And to get the velocity from the kinetic energy, you have to square root it. So it's called the root mean square. So it's the, it's the root of the, the, the mean value, let's say, for the kinetic energy. And if we look at this, we can see that the, basically the root mean square is a little bit higher than the average speed, and it's uh, even higher than the most probable speed, which is the, 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 the modal value, let's say. Now notice that even though this is the average speed, there are many particles at any temperature that are still moving faster than that. This is just an average value.